Hello and welcome to this match review of Senegal 3, Qatar 1, or should I be reading it the other way around, Qatar 1, Senegal 3, because Qatar is indeed at home. Today we're going to be going over the player performances, my thoughts about the match, and implications this has on the World Cup tournament going forward. Qatar is one of the African teams that we really were looking forward to watch, and they have delivered a 3-1 win over Qatar, which is a very solid win, though I do think that the performance may not be as solid as the scoreline presents. I think that Qatar were a bit unlucky at times, and in fact, they could have easily been 1-1 at the break. So we're going to be talking a bit about this match. Hopefully you enjoy it. And of course, if you have any comments and ideas and thoughts, and let me know in the comments below, and we will talk about it there. So without further ado, let us get into this match. And first of all, talk about the overall lineups and of course, the players in the match. Now, Qatar set up with a back five as they usually do. They were playing more defensive and they played with a back five, three and two up front. Afif al Moez up front as a strikers and I will not continue pronouncing any of the names because I really don't know. Now, I do think that um, the, the ratings on one football app is a bit harsh. I would say that although the goalkeeper didn't have the best game, there wasn't much he could have done about the goals that were conceded. There were no like kind of like weak dribbling shots that went in. He was kind of let down by the defenders in front of him who made a few mistakes. However, apart from that, really, there was nothing much he could have done to keep out those three goals. They were really good goals anyways. And as a result, it is nothing much you can complain about that from the perspective of a goalkeeper. I think the defense did quite well until kind of the goal they conceded. Before that, they actually were defending quite well with a back five. It goes to show that when you have a back five and you're well drilled, you actually can do well. I think the problem did indeed occur when they were trying to go forward and then they kind of just broken down. The attack kind of broke down as they went forward. They played the ball long and then they either lost the ball, took too long on the ball. And then they lost the ball and gave possession back to Senegal. And that is kind of what happens when you look at the stats. Senegal dominated possession. Now, on the Senegal side, you had um, kind of a 4-4-2, uh, according to um, the one football formation. You had Mendy in goal. I think he actually did very good. I don't think he warranted the 6.3 rating. I think he made a few good saves to um, keep to keep um, uh, Senegal in the lead. And of course, he couldn't do much about the goal that he conceded. I think the goal was a very good header. I mean, they could have done a bit better in the marking in the box, I think, to get in front of the ball and actually head the ball out. But I think that it was generally a very good performance for Mendy. So I'm not sure why he got a 6.3. Though, of course, I do think that the centre-back pairing, the defence in general, and this might be why the pairing is quite low, the rating is quite low, is because the defence does look worrying. Now, of course, if you're thinking about, well, what are the defenses out there? Who are the best defenders in this World Cup? You will be thinking about Khalido Koulibaly as one of the best defenders. However, at the same time, you have to look at this and say that Senegal's defense is a bit worrying. They could have given away a penalty in the first half. Let me know about your thoughts about whether that was a penalty or not. I think it was kind of a 60% chance it was a penalty. I think it's on the side of a penalty and in the fact that it is in the realm or the world of VAR. I'm very surprised it wasn't a penalty or it didn't go to the VAR at least. But it is one of those things, I suppose, the referee said he had a clear view of the pitch and as a result, it wasn't blown as a penalty. Now, up in the midfield, I think they actually weren't too bright, but not too bad. I think it was all right. I, I don't think there was anything horribly wrong with Senegal. But at the same time, if you're looking about them going forward in the World Cup, I think without that threat of Mane up front, you do have that kind of a problem of that linking up from the midfield to the attack and actually scoring goals in the attack. Now, of course, they did score quite a clinical goal off the mistake of the Qatari player and that's quite unfortunate for Qatar but they did score those three goals second one was off a header from a corner so that was well trainer went to the close um to the front post and he headed it in flicked it over the keeper with his head which was a very very good header I think and it did very well in that perspective now now that we've talked a bit about the player performances I think Dia 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 Hugh and all few those three players did very well but at the same time I do think that Qatar, uh, Senegal will be thinking about improving their match and improving their preparation going forward. Now, the thing about them going forward in this tournament, unfortunately, I don't think Senegal has a chance of going too far in this tournament, mainly because I think that their midfield and their defense, if you're comparing that midfield on paper to the other competitors, like your England's, like your, like your French, like your Denmark's, and even within your own group, I think that it, it, will, be, it will be a struggle for Senegal to uh, make it very far to compete with the other midfields out there. Uh, and, and that would be one of their main um, problems or things that they should worry about. However, apart from that problem in field, I think up front they also are lacking. I mean, you don't have any big names, not to say I'm biased towards big names, but I do think it does help when you have um, kind of a confirmed or very strong striker up front. 
especially when your defense aren't top, top class. I think they'll do a decent team, but they probably wouldn't be up there competing further than the quarterfinals if they could even get past the round of 16. Now, that's my thoughts about Senegal. I think it'll be very difficult, if not already impossible, for Qatar to get out to the group stage. I'm not exactly sure what the group stage is like right now, but um, as, 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 as the um, season is loading up on one football, I do think that Qatar is in a very difficult position. They probably would, I don't think they'll go through the, the other parts of their um, table are already very, very strong. So it's very difficult for them to actually do anything about it. And of course, I, I, I would say that Senegal would have a chance to go through. I think that they will be able to perhaps go through alongside Netherlands and that pairing would be quite an interesting match. Senegal against Netherlands, I think most likely Senegal and Netherlands will go through to the round of 16. Though Ecuador can indeed, if Ecuador beats Senegal, then definitely that one match will be the most important one. I don't see how Netherlands can beat Ecuador. So that's just my thoughts about the match. Um, of course, we'll know more about the Netherlands-Ecuador match in a bit. I'm not watching that match, but of course, those are my thoughts. So those are my thoughts about the match. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I love reading your thoughts and ideas. I'll try to read all of them. So let me know your thoughts about this match in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed. Stay safe. I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching and goodbye. I'll see you next one. Maybe I'll do a review of the England-USA match, which I will watch, but I am watching it on the train so well. And I'm, I am traveling at that time, so it might be difficult, but I'll see you there.